the game of life. What's it really all about? How can we be sure we win this game of life? The very first thing to remember is so vitally important, yet so often forgotten, that it is shocking. It's simply to remember what we are really playing for. What's the prize at the end? What are we striving for? Let's relate the game of life to an actual sports game for a minute. Notice how boring games can be when players don't play with full intensity? We see this when baseball players jog down the first baseline instead of running the play out, when hockey players don't back check, or when basketball players don't cover their man. When players don't hustle, execute their block, and do their job, the game becomes lopsided, and no one is interested in a lopsided game. When players don't care, fans don't care either. They leave early or turn off the TV because it is boring. On the other hand, when we really know what we are really playing for and the game is on the line, everyone plays intense and does their best. So now we are glued to the game. When games go into overtime, extra innings, or sudden death, Every play, every move, every split-second decision matters. Fans perch on the edge of their seats, tensions mount, and nerves ratchet. Everyone feels the excitement that makes the game great. Life and faith are very much the same way. During the times when life gets lopsided, when we get lazy or lethargic, our lives can become boring, predictable, or monotonous. Work and relationships can slide into a tedious rut. Satan watches us on the slippery slope of destruction and just sits back and lets it happen simply because our game of life gets too boring to watch, even for him. But when we are growing in our faith, applying our God-given talents and encouraging others, every conversation and interaction matters. Life takes on a new level of excitement. Now God is glorified and Satan doesn't like it because we become stronger, better, and wiser. This sort of living may take extra effort, but oh boy does it make a difference. Instead of just consuming calories, playing the game of just getting by, we're playing a riveting game of actually being alive. Now the plays are exciting, booming with possibility. Friends cheer, angels watch over us, and heaven even applauds. But now comes the tricky part, because Satan starts watching too. I heard a podcast by Joyce Meyer the other day, and in it she said, new level, new devil. She was right. When we decide to engage in an exciting life full of God, we must deliberately choose to take daily time with our Lord, reading His Word and listening to strong faith messages. If we're going to win the war, we need to put on the armor of God to get His strength for our daily battles. Only then can we expect to live the great, big, abundant life Jesus paid for us to have.